Hey everyone. So, if you've been keeping up with the absolute mess surrounding Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, you're going to want to hear the latest updates from Simon Gottborg, who was the lead combat designer on the project, at least, until Game Mill decided to let him go. Simon recently took to Twitter to share that he's no longer working with Game Mill. According to him, back in January, they told him they didn't have any work for him at the moment. Now, considering the disastrous state of the game, that's pretty mind-blowing. You'd think a lead designer would be crucial at a time like this, but apparently not, if you're Game Mill. The real reason behind Simon's departure? It all comes down to Game Mill's concerns about ROI, return on investment. In plain terms, the game wasn't making enough money, so they decided to scale back development. But here's the thing, when you pump out a game in less than a year and ignore the glaring issues, what do you expect? Of course, it's not going to perform well. The game was riddled with bugs, glitches, and outright broken mechanics from day one. People were falling through stages, the CPU was acting like it was straight out of a bad comedy, and the frame rate on some stages dropped to an unplayable level. Simon talked about his experience working with FPL, and while he said he enjoyed it, he also admitted that their goals were way too ambitious given the tight deadlines. Honestly, it's no surprise that the game was a disaster at launch. They tried to do too much with too little time, and the end result was a game that didn't meet anyone's expectations. Let's be real, a lot of people might have liked the idea of NASB2, but the execution was just bad. And that's on both the developers and the publisher. What's even more surprising is that Simon didn't start out as the lead combat designer. His role just sort of evolved into that because he was the most experienced person on the team. So, getting cut loose after all the effort he put in? That's got a sting, especially since the game is in such dire need of fixes. But here's where it gets worse. Instead of focusing on fixing the game, Game Mill and the developers just kept pumping out useless balance patches, completely ignoring the real issues the community was screaming about. It's like they were in complete denial about the state of the game. And what's with the people defending this mess? Downplaying the issues, pretending the game isn't a broken pile of glitches, it's ridiculous. You can't just ignore the facts because you want to like the game. The truth is, NASB2 is barely playable in its current state, and the devs have done little to nothing to address the biggest problems. Simon's now taking a break from the industry which, honestly, is probably for the best after this nightmare. He's not rushing back into game development, but he's still passionate about design. He mentioned he's working on an article about Nigel and the Puff archetype, which should be interesting if you're still curious about what he's been up to. So yeah, that's where things stand. It's a real shame to see what could have been a great game get completely ruined by poor decisions, tight deadlines, and a complete lack of quality control. And honestly, with game mail still involved, you can probably expect the same mess if they ever decide to churn out Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 3. If you're still sticking with NASB 2, more power to you, but it's clear that a lot of people have already moved on. And who can blame them?